Okay, we're gonna delete everything except for this frog, which is now floating. This looks like an oil spill. I've never done this in my life until today. It's the first time for everything, all right? Hey, y'all. Today we are doing another Sims 4 renovation, specifically with this starter home. I know we've all seen it. You know, it's been there since the very beginning and boy, what a house it is. I actually have a confession to make though. Please forgive me for this. <laughs> this is on my build save where I like just do a bunch of random builds. So I had to find this on the gallery. Like I tried to find the original one instead of starting a new save because I'm lazy. I think this is the original. Forgive me if it's not, but it's fine if it's not because the shell is the same and I'm gonna renovate it. So I feel like this is good enough. But like, where do we even begin? You know, like as far as the shape goes, let me explain to you what I don't like about it. The door not being centered with the stairs, like that should definitely be there. The roof not being like this bothers me so much. The, I mean, that window, is that how it normally is? That's horrible. Okay, wait, no, I just looked it up. I think that has been moved. Let's look at the inside, shall we? I mean, it's like an OG starter home. So it's like always been pretty barren. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Whoever I downloaded this from off the gallery had a little pet frog. Should I keep that? I feel like I should. You know, the problem with EA hiring content creators to like build the houses in the new packs means that they're all like too good to renovate. When they do them, like this is what, you know, like when EA does them, this is what we get. You know, and it's perfect for renovations. But when creators do it, they look too good. <laughs> supposed to renovate perfection. So anyways, let's start with like the outside. I'm thinking maybe I might add like a bump out here or there, like just to give it a little bit of oomph. I don't know. And I think I might change the way that the roof looks. What do we got? A skylight in the bathroom? What's going on here? Okay, let's, okay. It's been resolved. So what I think I might do, cause see, here's the problem, right? I don't like that the stairs aren't gonna line up with the door. I don't know. It's just something about that, that like rubs me the wrong way. I just don't like it. So we could do something like this with a single, oh, hold on actually, before I get to, so that's that technically won't work. But we can put it in this corner. So maybe I just do something like that instead. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these columns because I'm going to replace them and these little spandrels too. And also this fencing, even though I don't hate it, but we're gonna change it. So what I was thinking maybe is that we bump that out, just give it a little bit of extra oomph because we could do a little something like this and then a little something like this, but sort of like bring it out. So it's a covered porch. Oh gosh, I'm gonna need to bring it out a lot more than that. Put a roof on this and see what happens. Okay, so I literally have to bring it out all the way here and then that sort of messes up my little idea here. What if I did something like that instead? That doesn't look as weird. I could bring this up a little bit. Okay, this has been driving me crazy. So what I think I'm gonna do instead, sort of have this come out and then maybe have this go like in the middle. Okay, I think that's what I'm gonna end up going with. It is still a bit strange. The shape of this house is just a little bit funky, but I think that's as good as it's gonna get. I think I'm gonna add some columns around the corners. I think I'm going for like granny chic. It's giving grandma. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but that's how I feel. But that, that is also how I feel like 24 sevens. Okay, don't think I'm gonna continue going with this green theme. I might go for like a blue or like just something more, maybe like almost neutral. The lighting on this lot is also terrible. So that doesn't help. Okay, I've got like a white brick and this like cats and dogs shingle wallpaper. It's blue, it sort of matches the foundation. Wait a minute, Take that on there too. There we go. Okay, we've got some spandrels back on there. A new fence, there's a new railing. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a new front door. They do have medium wall height, which makes me think I should get a taller door because otherwise it looks a little puny. But we could definitely get something like that or like this. There's even this one, which is really pretty. Ooh, look at the colors. Oh my God, I could get a pink door. What's stopping me? Oh, look at that color combo. That makes me want to change the whole house. That green and brown, I adore it. Oh, no, 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 I should not look looked at that. Now I'm like, I'm, I'm in a totally different headspace. Okay, I literally just Googled green and brown door to see like what that looks good with. I'm seeing a lot of brick. Let's put it to the test real quick. God, I wish the lighting was better on this house. It's so hard to tell. I think this brick is the one I like the most, even though I know it looks kind of weirdly dark. I just can't get the lighting to sit right. I like that we ended up doing a whole different aesthetic just because of the door. It looks totally different. I am wondering if I should keep this stuff white or not. Cause there is like a white accent at the top and bottom of the door. That way it sort of brightens up the house a little bit. Otherwise I feel like it might end up looking a little too dark. But if I change that, like I feel like that's too much. Okay, I think I figured out what I'm doing with the color situation here on the columns and stuff. Okay, let's fix this like window situation. I'll probably keep the rooms sort of like the same layout of this house. Maybe I might modify the kitchen a little. Could do sort 
of like a galley kitchen where it's sort of like this. We could either have a table right here or we could just like extend it. I think I like extending it. I think right here could be a good place for like a little breakfast table or something, but let's not worry about that right now. Let's do the windows. I'm getting very distracted. A little square window up there. Then down here, what's the main window gonna be? I don't know. I like these windows since we do have medium wall height. A lot of the normal windows look so puny and small, but these are like the perfect size. They look really, really pretty and they look great in there. Okay, I think I've got all of the window placements down. We've got a lot and I was thinking about maybe putting a window like this up at the top just because it gives it a little bit of like character. I don't know if it's too weird though. Okay, now I'm doing what I have to do. The non-negotiable with every house that I build, you know the drill. I do sort of feel like there should be something here. So I think I'm gonna put some like ivy to cover that. Oh, that looks so good. It matches the door, which is like a weird coinky dink. Okay, now before we go inside, just really quickly, we're gonna fix this landscaping and like this terrain paint because it is like what this looks like an oil spill <laughs> let's bulldoze the terrain i can't really move this house like it's pretty much taking up the whole entire lot so i can't move it i was gonna do like a little swirly path or something but like it's a little bit hard because of how close it is so i'm just going to put dirt all down the sides around the back a little bit of landscaping there with some flowers some foliage i'll add a tree and some like little plants around it a little bit of landscaping right there. I'm gonna put this sort of like faded pathway that leads to the back here. Okay, that's a little bit better. I sort of like thickened it up a bit. Okay, let's go on to the inside. First thing, some of these rooms don't have lights. And if they do, they're awful, awful, awful lights. Get rid of that. That's gonna be my first priority. Some lights in here. Sheesh. I'm gonna put some outside too. Oh, it looks cute. They're like very warm lights. Okay, so inside, let's change the flooring and the wallpaper because I don't like it. It's actually not that bad, but it's not what I would choose. Okay, I like this flooring a lot. I brought it into the bedroom. I think I am going to keep a different tile flooring for the bathroom. I actually really like the checkered tile. I'm a checkered tire. Tire? I'm a checkered tile girl, not a tire. Don't get it twisted. I love checkered floors. I think they're so pretty. I wish they had a bigger checkered floor where they were just bigger squares. I suppose I could make my own. I mean, <laughs> what's stopping me, girl? What's stopping me. That's so cute. I could also do something that's not as like in your face. I could do like a beige checkered tile, which is kind of cute. Wait, what if I turn this to beige? Actually, that's not too bad. What if I did that in like a blue? I don't know. I feel like it should be white. I like the blue. The blue's not as harsh. And then we could do a blue kitchen. I know there's like a line through the tile. I don't know if there's like a better one I can use. These concretes are good, but like that's not the, that's giving Sims one actually. It's not giving me the right colors. You know what? It's fine. It's hand made. And then in the bathroom where they also had a checkered floor, I'm actually going to use this one, this herringbone tile. It's my absolute favorite. I'm going to just use it in white so I can do something different with the walls. And now speaking of the walls, let's do that. I'm actually happy to do something like this, sort of keeping like that old school granny vibe a little bit. Do you know how hard it is for me to not do this? That is, it's just so my style. I just love it. I think I might like really hone in on the blue in here. I don't know which one to do. Oh my God. I love them all. Sword. I could also just do solid white, which also looks good. But like, that's more fun and we have to be honest about that. Okay, maybe we just do solid white in here or not. I mean, look how fun this is. Oh, the green. Oh my gosh, we should do green somewhere. This whole house used to be green. Oh, I love that. <gasps> Wait, this is like so freaking hard. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I wanna use this somewhere now. How seriously stunning is that? Do I use it in the bathroom? Do you think this flooring has a good swatch for that? You're joking. What kind of perfect match is that? Say no more, we're doing that. Okay, I'm like still, I'm torn on this main area having like a different vibe, but maybe we just, let's just go with it. Okay, we're gonna delete everything except for this frog, which is now floating, so that's great. I think I'm also gonna change the doors. They're a little bit puny for this house, including the archway. Is there even a good medium-sized like indoor door I can use that's not like overly fancy? Okay, they seriously need to get on that. That's kind of crazy. Okay, let's just go back to here and see if we can find a taller one. Oh, this one's good. I like this one. Okay, there we go. That's looking good. Now let's actually start decorating. I 
think this is a little too narrow to put any tables or anything. So we'll just rely on art and also curtains. Curtains are gonna look nice. Okay, we're gonna have to find some that fit this wall height. We could always do the custom route, which tends to work for me. Yeah, that looks so pretty. Look how grand that looks. Curtains make such a big difference. So put some art on the walls right here. Maybe a runner would be nice. Okay, this one has some pretty fun colors. So maybe I'll go with that one for now. Okay, there we go. Got a little something there. Okay, so what I was thinking originally was getting like a cute table to put on this side, like in this little corner. We probably could do a square one, but it might be more fun to do a round one. Okay, got some cute little granny chairs there. Okay, I'm gonna put these little like banners here. I feel like that just looks really cute. It might actually, and this goes against everything I ever do, but it might be cute to have a hanging light right here. And the frog's not gonna stay there, but it is a cute place for it to hang out at the moment. But like, I hate to say it, but like, that's cute. Oh my gosh, that's cute too. I feel like we need it at like a medium wall height though. Like it needs to be like a little bit lower. Now, why did they make this light only in one height? That's so weird. What if I did something like this? That's kind of cool. Okay, I just wanted to add a little something there. Let's move on. Oh wait, should I add a rug in the corner? I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh, well, you know what? You just forget what I said, it works fine. Okay, let's move on to the living room. All right, I added both of these spots specifically so that I could put a fireplace in between them. I just didn't know which one I wanted. I'm thinking maybe this one, although this one has more room. Let me see. I basically just need to figure out how the couch situation's gonna go, and then I got it. I've got lots of room to work with here though, so I feel like either way would be totally fine. That works. If I did it here, what would be the difference? This? Oh wait, maybe that is better. I actually don't know. I guess both are fine. I think I prefer this one though. I gotta scoochie these over just a smidge. There we go. All right, now what couches am I gonna use? Hold on, we're on to something here. Look at this couch. Oh my God, that's perfect. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna find a good love seat to go with it, but maybe two chairs. Okay, that's pretty granny. So is this one. That kind of goes. Okay, we've got a rug down. Let's get a coffee table. Okay, we need an end table and a little lamp. That's my favorite little guy. I love them. Okay, and I think I'm gonna put that down there with the little candles on it. So cute. I am getting a TV. Duh. Getting the frame TV. Duh. <laughs> Should be obvious at this point. Curtains. We need curtains like yesterday. Boom, boom. Other side. Boom, 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 boom. And then we've got a little bit of a gap, so I need to put this in there. It's a little off-centered, but it's not cooperating. It's fine. Gorgeous! I know this whole house is like collages of paintings, but I feel like when you're old, you've lived a long life. You've accumulated a lot of freaking photos. Dang, these mirrors usually look so big, but look how puny they look on this wall height. It looks so Oh, puny. Okay, we've got a little end table, some little decor pieces. I think over here I'll add like a taller plant. Ooh, a hanging plant could be cute too. Oh, you know what? Maybe we should put the frog over there. I forgot about that little guy. Okay, plant here. Okay, we'll put some plants over here. A lamp. In this corner, I kind of don't know what to do. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Maybe I try to put the mirror in the corner. Well, that's kind of cute. Oh, I like that actually a lot. I'm gonna make it gold. And then I'm gonna put a small little plant next to this. Actually make that two plants. That's so cute. Okay, I think that looks better. Okay, let's move on to the kitchen. So I'm very tempted to do this blue set, but I feel like it could be overkill. So maybe I won't. Oh my gosh, that looks so gorgeous. That looks nice. Okay, let's get some upper cabinets. Okay, we've got some curtains there. I've done this little like long sort of cabinet on this side. I thought it looked kind of cool. I'm gonna put in a sink right there. I'm gonna put a trash can right there. And because we have so much space here, I think I should add Add like a microwave or something. Okay, we'll put that there. And then on this side, I feel like we should have something else. Maybe like a coffee maker. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'll throw in some flowers right there. I don't really have like a ton of space to work with. If I just like squeeze stuff behind here, maybe. I can put some mugs over here by the coffee machine. That makes sense. Squeeze in some flowers. That looks very cute. I like that. I think we should put one of these like family things. I feel like this is where it would be. I know this is kind of granny, but like still, I feel like that would be in there. And I I feel like this would be in there too. Okay, moving right along to the bathroom. Ooh, I forgot about how we did the wallpaper. I think I'm gonna keep the same layout because I know it works. Just change up like the actual stuff. Put in a nicer shower, a nicer sink. That one matches. A toilet, toilet paper bag. I guess I didn't really need to delete that. I think in here we'll put in some smaller curtains and I'll make them pink just for fun. Put in this mirror because it's just my all time favorite. I just love it to death. Put some towels right there. And I know this is kind of a wild card, but this like barrel of plants. Oh, it's a barrel of tulips. It's even better. 
heart. That's so cute. I know it might seem weird that it's in the bathroom, but I have heard that bathrooms are a great humid place for plants to thrive, okay? Put this outside of the shower so you don't slip and fall and die. A little towel right there. And what's more random than putting a bow above the toilet? I've never done this in my life <laughs> until today. It's the first time for everything, all right? I don't know what makes me want to do this, but I just like the way it looks. I just love it. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> now, finally, to the bedroom. Okay, we got the bed, some nightstands. This isn't a very big bedroom, so I won't be able to do too much, but I need to add a rug for sure, right? I'm keeping everything kind of neutral because the wallpaper is still like, if I can squeeze in my favorite mirror, wait, that's the perfect spot. But where's the dresser gonna go? Oh no, that would be a good spot for a dresser. Let's just put it over there for now. I'm gonna try to make this work because I still have to put in these curtains. Now these are gonna be weird. Like, how am I gonna do this? Okay, that looks really weird, but I think it's fine. All right, curtains are in. Can I fit a dresser? I always use this one because it's just like so skinny. It seems to fit better. But even here, it's struggling. What if instead of doing that, I did like a vertical one, like one that goes up like this? Wait, if I do that, then can I do- Oh, barely. Oh my God, wait, is this even a good idea? What if I- Oh, wait, what if I switched up? What if I put this in this corner? Oh, now we're on to something. And then we put this over here. I love the inner workings of my mind. Okay, I'm loving it. I really am. So what I'm thinking is I scooch this over and I put like a little chair. I'd love to do a rocking chair. I don't know, is that like too big? It might also be cute to do a stool. And I have one in mind, this one. So cute. Maybe even throwing a little lamp in the corner there. And then over here, I'm thinking we put a plant. All right, then the only other thing I think we need is some art. That is so stinking cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna put some more banners in here. I just love the way they look. They're so cute. Just adds a little something. Either that or some fairy lights. I think I like the lights. I like how they're like a little bit weird looking too. I think that fits the vibe for some reason. I love that. I think I am done. All right, well, here is the after of this very strange starter home. Here's the outside. Here's a little walk through the inside. Go into the bedroom. But uh, it is quite small. But, like, I'm loving the lights. I'm loving this little mirror section. Go into the living room. Very cute. It's very cozy. And then this room, <laughs> this room's so funny. I just, <laughs> I don't know why it makes me laugh but just love like the blue <laughs> everything's a little bit rando in there and then you got your little table and then in here oh man the blue really hits you at the bow <laughs> so cute but that is gonna be all for today's video hope you all enjoyed it hope you're having a wonderful day and i'll speak to you all very very soon bye bye